Check one two one two. Oh yeah. I beat the beat, I mistreat it. I beat the eyes, delete it. On top, top, I'm all dean. No rock star with these leather pants. I'm AC, DC. When I die, bed. So who's riding with us today? We got Double A Gaming. It's Moon Starling. Welcome back, Andrew Cunning uh, Cunningson. Welcome back, my dude. Uh, Queefy. Welcome, Queefy. Queefy. However. Either way, that sounds dirty. Raven, what's up? Good to see you, bro. Uh, he's in chat, too. Christopher Ramirez says OBS is also in quarantine. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's Moon. What's up, man? Ron Goldenberg. Welcome back, man. Good to see you. It's knocking. All right. Today, we're going to be flying the uh, A380, uh, sponsored by Mercedes and Scania. Just kidding. Atlanta West. What's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Oh yeah! All right, let's bring in the let's bring in the boys. Let's bring in the crew. Uh, here we go. Say hello, Raven, IFMG, and Graham. Yeah. Yeah, music might be a little loud. Yeah, there we go. All right, so guys, we got some some driving to do. It's Trucking Tuesday again. We're bringing it back for a second week in a row. I guess you could say. That. I got Graham chilling next to me with the sub C trailer in the back. We have a few stops to do today. Uh, we're gonna be driving around in the Middle East, part of the Pro Mods. DLC for your truck simulator. It's actually an additional mod to the pro mod, um, but it's free and it's actually a whole lot smaller to download, which is thankful. I'm very thankful for that. But if you want it, the link is in the description. You can check it out if you're interested. But, anyways, we'll be driving around there. We already have our uh, jobs selected, so we won't be wasting time on picking jobs as long as we don't get kicked from the server again, which all of us, I think, have ha has happened before we started streaming. Actually, before, except Raven. Raven's been okay. I think everybody else has been nice. kicked at least once yeah. from the server for different reasons. So anyways, I got a new truck. Uh, I got this a few days ago, right? I think Saturday. A Mercedes. Yes, and uh, it's not new, but it's new to me. <laughs> because, and I think I may have found my new uh, uh, preferred uh, European truck. Because before we were driving a Scania, the Scania is cool. But um, I, don't know, I don't like the Renault. But I do like... I do like the Mercedes. But anyways, let's get going. Let's get driving. Let's get going. We got some stuff to do Boy, today. All right, Graham. Graham has joined us. Last week, Graham did not have pro mods. And matter of fact, he was like a noob, a newbie to... Okay, he's all up in my face. Still in the spotlight. Still I see is. how you're doing. Still is a all right, it's time for us to go. <laughs> all right, track IR is working. Somebody's in reverse. Wait for me to pick up my job. Uh, oh, I got to get my job. Right. Right. Let me go. Let me do that real quick. Job market. Hopefully, it's still here. Freight market. We got. Oh, it uh, should be. Uh, we going from. So this is where we are. For you guys who want to know where the heck we are, we're in the Middle East. Starting off in Aquaba, which I think is part of Jordan, right, guys? Is that part of Jordan? Yeah, yes. So in Jordan, yeah, we're gonna head over yes. to Egypt for our first stop. Second stop, we're gonna go to Jerusalem, and then from Jerusalem, uh, I think we're going to Tripoli, which is in Lebanon. 
So Ed is the goal as long as everything goes all right. And I pro probably pronounced most of those wrong. That is okay. So first place is Damietta. Yeah, got a locomotive. Pretty heavy locomotive from GNT. Let's go pick that up and uh, see how that goes. Yeah, my configuration is fine. Let's I go. hope. <laughs> I hope. I hope I can pull it. I hope I can pull it. Wouldn't that suck? That would suck. Alright, lights on. Hmm. I don't need lights. There we go. Alright guys, we're back. We're back in the cab. Turn left. So have you guys already got your uh, your trailers right. and stuff like that? Or you gotta go pick up too? Turn right. I'm ready. I got my right now. Uh, screw that red light. Oh, come on. I made that, bro. It was yellow. Keep right. <laughs> Was yellow. At the roundabout. Yellow means yeah, hurry. <laughs> we all know. To get some we all know that. But check out Middle East. Look at this. I'm gonna do a quick circle just to show you guys how freaking dope this is. <coughs> Hold on. Exit now. So cool. Like whatever this is probably exists in real life somewhere. I've never been to the Middle East myself, but if you're from there, you can tell me how accurate this is. And you're gonna tell me how accurate the buildings. The buildings kind of look like a, a Middle Eastern style too. I don't know if you guys agree with me. Yeah, they do. I feel like they are. You know, yeah, some texture. Go ahead. Turn left. And that's where we're picking it up. G and T. It was a nice ride. It was. Thank you, Doug. All right, we'll stop here. We will, we, we might have to take a ferry at some point today. Yep, rate market. All right. Um, I, yeah, this is what I want right here. Hopefully, I can get this thing out of here. We'll see. Tech job. Yeah. It keeps like warning me, saying, "Hey, is your truck configuration strong enough for this?" I'm like, I think so. <laughs> I think we actually have to take two ferries. Two yeah. ferries? Huh. Yeah. Wait, why is you my take it. why is my trailer being damaged? This is one percent to eleven percent. What is going Rip on? Must be something wrong with the mod. <laughs> oh, look at it, it's freaking bouncing around. We gotta rescue it, hurry. Oof. Yeah, you have the pro problem. Oh wait, I somebody think. else spawned one too, in the same place, and so it, it was bouncing off of somebody else's. <laughs> That's what happened. I bet it was one of you guys, cause you're real quiet. <laughs> nope, it's actually nope. you. Who else would spawn a freaking locomotive at the same time I am? No, the, the trailers, only you can see them. Until, if we have one, like if we have one picked up, ready then to go. Go. Fifth wheel locked, raising legs and attaching. Okay, not sure. Do I have <coughs> it? I think I have it. Ferrying fans, what's up, man? Good to see. <clears throat> Stolly says he can tell us how accurate Lebanon is. All right, sounds good. Graham got the trailer stuck. Somebody else said that whenever we no. get to. Yeah, Graham, you hit the. You hit the fence. We should make a prayer. Shh. All right. Well, look, look. So this is what I was talking about last week. Look at those wheels. All of those wheels turn. Every single freaking one of them. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if I have to back this thing up where we're going, but we'll see. But it just—it's just weird because it, it turns differently than I'm used to because the wheels turn too. I mean, yeah, it's cool. I'm not sure how what's that, what's controlling that, but yeah, whatever. I, I think I got plenty of fuel, guys. You ready to hit the uh, the old dusty trail? I think I need some fuel. Alright, sounds good. Uh, who wants to lead the way today? We're driving legitly, by the way. Just want to oh, point yeah. that out now. <laughs> we always say that. And We're not racing. This is not Hero <laughs> Truck Sim Racing today. Can I make it out of this gate? Let's see what happens. Yeah, I got it. Alright, uh, I gotta go right. Oh, okay. Well, let's go left. We'll go left and then we'll just take this, go through the city. So I don't know who's leaving now, but I'll just go in front. Rerouting. Oh wait, wait! Don't pull out. Come on. All right, I'm coming by. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, are we stopping in Beirut today? I think we no, we don't have Beirut in ours. We'll be no. driving through. Damietta and Cheers the Metropoli. But there's a Renault. Get ready to turn um, right. Place I just discovered. We are going through Larnacado. I think we are going through right. uh, Beirut for the ferry. Are we getting a ferry out of Beirut? Is that how you um, pronounce it? Is it Beirut? So. Beirut? 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 
no idea. <laughs> no clue. All right, wow, 61 ton locomotive. That's pretty freaking heavy. Ooh. My truck's kind of tipping when I turn. Is it really? I have trailer <laughs> yeah, damage already, 13%, because of somebody else spawning. Or maybe it was me spawning it twice. <laughs> Jay knows the way, you. flying an A320 to Vegas, here to pass the time. Cool, man, enjoy your flight, bro. Where are you flying from to Vegas? And are you on vet sim, pilots? Are you just offline? Why are we going so slow? Uh, it's as fast as I can go, apparently. Like, I'm, my Seriously? foot is to the floor right now. You know, I'm being coming wow. in 10th gear. Nope, that's not it. Let's see, that's I'm going 30 k speed. Okay, Ready now I'm going. Left. But it goes custom. Good to see you, man. I am heavy, so it might take me Graham, a while to get you're going. you're on the footpath. Turn left. I like how the signs are actually in whatever language that is. Arabic. Arabic, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say it. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be wrong. Is that right? <laughs> is that a different <laughs> one? But you can see already as we get on the road, like, it looks... Deserty, which makes sense because for them to mod this, I'll, I'll, I would assume all I need to do is take like Nevada <laughs> and convert it and move it over here to ECS. <laughs> right, I think this is what is this the border? Yeah. Yep. Oh, another locomotive over there. How many people are taking? Oh, that's Graham. That's Raven. That's who it is. No, that's Raven. All right. Uh, did you guys bring your passports ours. and stuff? Yep. I think I got. No, it. I didn't. Well, dang, I guess you're stuck in... You're stuck here, then. Checking your documents. Please wait. Oh, apparently this officer will uh, let me through for some cookies, so I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I do have road trip snacks. I did bring <laughs> the snacks. I have my chocolate cake. Bro, I'm going ahead of you, man. You're slow. Who, me? No, go ahead. I'll take an screenshot. I'm only slow because of blue. I was just doing a, a dramatic pull out. We still have one more border to go through. <laughs> that was leaving the country. Now we gotta go into the next country. But I still think it's pretty interesting how that all works. And like, you don't trust the other guys who just let me through? You gotta check again. No problem, Nathan. Man, I wish you could have made it too. I think you said you just downloaded this. All right, checking documents again. This would be such a dope screenshot right here, man. I think I, think I took it. Let me see if I can take try to take it again. No, go away. Thank you. I think my screenshot button is working. Alright guys, let's head over to uh, Egypt. Let's go. I'll roll through second. I'll be number two. It looks like you're last. No, I'm second. Oh, no. <laughs> that delay. Ready to turn left. When you get delay on stream. Oh, I see, I see. Que si, que si. Can no, can no. You guys don't know anything about that. I don't no, think anybody in chat knows anything about that. There's an airport right over here on our left. On the curve. Yeah, someone was asking about that before. Is there airports in the game? Yes, there are airports in most cities, most major cities. Basically, if a city I mean, has an airport in real life, it'll have it in here. He's... But it's really basic. Very basic, yep. yeah. So here's an airport right here on our left. Wow, look at that. What kind of plane is that? Why it's doesn't he have wheels? He's just on the ground. The about. Take the second exit. That was a PC-12 though. Uh, I think that's the one that hangar. flies over you. Yeah, like none of them have... have. I'm gonna do the circle real quick. I'm gonna look at the airport. None of them have oh, wheels. <laughs> exit now. Come on, bro. I'm sightseeing. I guess we're all doing a circle. We're all doing a circle. Oh, there's another. We're entering. Ooh, we're in Israel by now. I'm entering to Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> A very super basic airport, but it's there. I mean, 
<laughs> what kind of a tour is this? <laughs> Extremely basic airport. Like you can't get much more basic than that airport. I'm also practicing my turning radius with this trail, which isn't that, that isn't that bad. Yeah, you have a rear steering axle. That rear steering really helps, like big time. And now, one thing else I'll note it. Another thing I noticed. I don't know if it's everywhere. Or if it's just in Middle East, but I keep seeing small groups of people walking in sync, and I think it's hilarious. Yeah, they're <laughs> and overboarding a board across the internet. You're right. Come on. <laughs> if I'm too slow for you, you can go ahead of me. I'm, I mean, no, I'm, I can't I'm, I'm pulling Brian's, 61 tons Brian's right now. on my side. I'm turning in on you. I don't. <laughs> All right, guys, it's, it's merging, and there's another border up here, too. Great. Hey, how many You're borders the are road. there? Jesus. You push me off the road. What's wrong with you? Oh, it started. Professional, yeah. Somebody's getting you, uh... fired. <laughs> These are very yeah, high-value cargo. Do. Everything we're carrying is extremely expensive. Nah, Graham's just carrying, like, coconut oil. I know, right? What's up with all these freaking borders, man? I don't understand either. <laughs> Where are we? Seriously. <laughs> like, are we in the middle of three countries? Because we just went through three Andrea. borders. Actually, yeah. So there's a border here and here, I think. I don't know. I'm still waiting. They're, they take forever to check my doctors. Like, they don't trust me. I think it's because I'm American. They don't <laughs> trust me. Definitely. Definitely because I'm American. To be honest, it's really quick because it'll probably take like hours in real life to do. To check your documents. Uh, when this, no, it shouldn't take no, that long. No, I don't long. think so. No, yeah? not at all. It's Middle East. I mean, I've never been, been, been to the Middle East. I have no idea what their whole border restrictions are, but I don't think it would take hours. I mean, imagine a freaking line, the traffic jam. Welcome to Egypt. You saw it on the sign? Cool, we're already in Egypt. <laughs> so where was that back there? <laughs> what did we, where did we come from? I'm confused. Checking documents again. Well, wow, I didn't think that this would be checking documents simulator. Border Patrol simulator. <laughs> uh, Lackwed. Yes, I do play X-Plane yeah. 11. A lot, actually. Ooh. And we're heavy, heavy, heavy. Everything's in order. Have a nice journey. Thank you very much. Ahmad. Alright, let's roll. I think that should be the last one for a while. I hope. Yep. Taba <laughs> has been discovered. Come on, boys. There's a Faster. ferry over there. Lots of ferries over here. This is gonna be a long drive. Yeah, I was expecting it to be like, oh, we just hit the road. Like when we drove in this last weekend, it was like a super long road with just nothing on it. And I was like, okay, it's gonna be like that on the way out. Nope. <laughs> I guess it's better this way because there's some stuff going on. Man, those that, those axles in the back really help that turning radius like really a lot. I was not expecting that. You should turn on your beacons. Yeah, ready to turn right. <laughs> I don't know how to turn them on. Oh. Uh, oh, is it? Oh. Yep. Turn yeah. right. Or you can go F4. Oh, ain't working. Yeah, there you go. You have I think them on. The they're on. on this beat. Yeah. Oh, no, they're on. Wait, I don't know, because there's a stream lag, so I don't know which... <laughs> is it on yeah, now? No. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what does it even look like? Oh, there's a flashy light! Where's it coming from? The back. Okay. Oh, this is dope. There's a slight uphill. It's a very slight uphill. Look how slow we're creeping right now. This is hilarious. <laughs> uh, who's that in front of me right now? Is that Graham? Yeah, yeah. What are you hauling? Potatoes. Potatoes? Come on, man. Did you say potatoes? Yeah, he did. <laughs> is that all you could pick up with potatoes? <laughs> I think that's what this truck will handle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, I am struggling up this hill. So, funny story, guys. Last night, or actually yesterday afternoon, I was uh, watching Top Gear. Is that what it's called? Top Gear, like the show about like the cars and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. And they were driving yeah. trucks. I was like, what a coincidence that they're driving trucks <laughs> on Top Gear. And I've been playing American Truck and a Euro Truck Simulator. And so uh, it was funny because like, none of them ever drive semis. 
So they were all in like different types of trucks. They had a Volvo, uh, Peterbilt, and another Volvo. And they had to like see if they could drive them up a hill, if they could drive through the city with a trailer. Wow, I'm going so slow. Another checkpoint, I think. This is not good. What top coat did you watch? I don't know. Is it the American one? American, I assume. Is there another one that's not American? Yeah, the British Oh one. my god. The We're British struggling to get up these hills. The British there we one go. Is top gear, top gear. But anyways, it was funny better. because like you watch it looks so hard when they were doing it. Don't speed like, there. Don't, don't speed. Don't there. speed where? It's six miles an hour. Or... Six miles an hour? Alright, good to know. Um I, I just got that on but yeah, it looked so hard in the video, like when they were doing it on, on the show, I was like, man, this looks difficult. And obviously there's more difficult because they're doing manual gears and they have a clutch and a shifter and all that stuff. And the parking brake, air brake, all like the real stuff that happens. I don't have a lot of stuff here in my setup. All I got Speed is up, potato a, man. a paddle paddle shifter, so I don't even have a clutch pedal. So if I slow down now, I'm do. never going to accelerate again. <laughs> Nowadays, it's just automatic, so it's not that hard. Oh, the, whoa. Okay, it's a checkpoint you don't have to stop at. Oh, speeding violation, you suck! Come on, man. <laughs> this thing's all about momentum. You want me to slow down? Look, they you guys freaking dusted me. I didn't know that there was different versions of Top Gear, guys. I really didn't until you guys just brought it up now. I thought all Top Gears were the same. <laughs> nope. And I don't usually watch it. Like, it just happened to be on TV, like on live TV. And I was like, huh, this looks interesting. It's car related. I like cars. And then I saw they were doing trucks. I was like, oh, hey, dope. Captain No Gear, what's up, man? Good to see you. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. All right, we need some uh, road trip music. Hopefully, it doesn't crash when I tap over to my <clears> music <throat> tab. Let's see. All right, it's live. <sighs> yes, Libyan pilot. We're gonna eventually hit it, making it to Tripoli. So first stop, Egypt. I think we're already in Egypt. Um, but, yeah, but. <clears throat> Our stop is still seven hours away. We gotta wait to go. That's farther than I thought, honestly. Uh, who's this ahead of me? Doing all right? Brian. Speed limit is seventy. So <laughs> yeah, same. Libyan pilot, like your home country. Today. That's cool. I don't have my foot down. All right, well, I'm gonna go around you and just letting you know, Graham. Don't be offended. I'm only doing I'm only doing the speed limit. <laughs> That's it. Usually the double white line means don't pass. Not today. <laughs> Hopefully nobody else is out here. Let me know uh, whoever's in front, like if any cars are coming the opposite direction, because me and Graham are side by side in the S's. There's no one. Alright. He sped up. I think this hill helped him. Wrong way violation, you suck! Okay. <laughs> Fine, I'll, I'll hang out behind him. We did say drive seriously. <laughs> I, I am driving seriously, I was seriously trying to pass him. <laughs> Christopher, we'll see you on X-Plane soon. Dope, man. Excited for you, bro. What are you yeah, doing, Graham? You are all over the place. Now. Like, you're gonna flip over. Like, I think Graham is drunk driving. He's not even talking in the chat. Can you play with the mouse and keyboard? Keyboard cat yes. up there is what's happening. 90k? Oh, it's it's gonna be bad. <laughs> Starlight says, Graham, you're never gonna get your driver's license. <laughs> uh, PUBG Mobile, this game is called Euro Truck Simulator. This is not the vanilla version, this is uh, the Pro Mod oh, version. Oh boy. You guys see Graham ahead of me? Like, this is scary. Oh! What the hell? Oh, oh my god! What are you. Graham, are you okay? Can you can you come on the microphone and, and, and confirm that you are okay? I'm here. Okay. Making sure you're alright. Uh, um, there's a bit of an issue. <laughs> there's an issue? Get ready to turn right. Yeah. Okay, are we stopping? Uh, no. 
I think he F7. Who F7? What's that even mean? For right. Uh, he kind of. <laughs> Oops! Turn right. <laughs> yeah, it's my Graham thinks this is a mud runner. <laughs> he was in the dirt. Oh, can I make it? Let's see. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Oh, these wheels make it easy. That's too easy. I should have probably stopped for fuel there. <laughs> Think so? Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna push it. Wow, it's only one road. This thing is one-sided. Yeah. Oh god. There's one lane. So if anyone comes from the other side, we are. Um, well, you're not screwed. screwed. I mean, this happens in real life. You just gotta freaking move the heck over. Well, they need to move over because we're trucks. I mean, they're probably gonna be a truck too. <laughs> Daniel, what's Most up, man? Likely. Thank you very much, man, for the props. Oh, Raven completely crashed. Dang, bro. Uh, lack we to get pro mod. Uh, the link is already in the description of the YouTube video. If you want to check it out, Just click on that and you download it. That's it. And uh, from what I've heard, as we go uphill, there's a new version coming too. I don't know what is in the new version. I have no idea what the new version is about, but there's a new one coming out soonish. But I've been enjoying it. I've been playing this. I've been playing American Truck Sim. I haven't streamed any American Truck Sim or done any videos lately, but I have been playing it. Um, it's single player mainly. I might. If I have time, I might make a video for this weekend. We'll see. Oh, okay. You can't go off the road. There's ditches. Probably IEDs. I only have 60, what, 40 miles of fuel left. You have how many miles of fuel left? 14. No, you don't download scenery in this game, like X-Plane. You just download the whole game, all the scenery comes with it. If you decide to get pro mods, that's a scenery, I guess that's like a scenery add-on, but it's just one. It's not like X-Plane, you gotta download every city. <laughs> that would suck. Alright, we're at 80 kilometers per hour. Who's in there? I'm okay with that. We're still five hours out. Not real time, There's but game time. What'd it say? There's a band coming up, so watch out. Alright, I think I'm pretty far back. I was going pretty slow because how heavy I am. Darth Vader, yeah, man. I'll be playing a fin flight again eventually. Just not right now. I see the bin now. Is there Libyan scenery? I don't know. Is there, guys? Is there Libyan Libyan scenery? Uh, no. no. Not now. No, there is no Libyan scenery. That's coming from the experts over there. I don't know. Once we get to our first drop off, uh, I can show you the map and show you what it, what it all includes. And if the place that you're looking for is on there, then yes. Yeah, rip. Winner gets a cookie. I'll take a cookie anyway. Speaking of cookies, I do have my road trip snacks today. Right over here. Uh oh. I have grapes. I have my healthy snack. And then I have my not so healthy snack. MMs. And I have a water. <laughs> but I'm not ready yet. I only have eight miles of you. Who's that? Great uh I from Graham. Graham? Uh, you, yeah, you probably should have stopped back there, bro. I'm not sure how many miles of road we have to get to the next gas station. Dang, your computer doesn't arrive until May 30th. I had to wait, I think, two, a month. A month? Ready to turn right. About a, around a month to get my computer. It takes a while, depending on where you get it from. Especially if you're getting it custom built by somebody. Not only is it in the queue, but it's also being built and tested and all that stuff. Alright, oh, got a right turn. I ran out. Honestly, in my opinion, I think I'm doing a great job driving so far. Uh oh, don't speak too soon, it's a stop. Okay, almost left. <laughs> almost hit that pole. I have to go into single parent teleport all the way to. Our destination. Why do you need to do it in a uh, single player? Because I can't teleport it. 
Thank you, Fari. Appreciate it, man. Big Mungus, what's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, I remember when I got my computer, I was so freaking excited, man. Like, there's only a few things in life I've been that excited for. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the possibilities that a new computer brings, man. It's like you get to play all the games you want to play, and usually if you get a new computer, you get to play it at the settings that you want to play them at, you know? Um, and then as, as well, you can do it from other things, too. So I remember I bought my computer in a Black Friday sale. It was a couple years ago now. And uh, I didn't get it until, like, I think uh, maybe around December? I don't remember. I think I waited about a month and a half, so... Get mine. It came in a huge box, man. So people always ask me, like, well, how's, what, what computer do I have? First of all, I have like a, a custom built computer by MainGear.com. It's a link in the wow. description for that. Um, what? Wow, what? Do you not know how to make a PC yourself? No. <laughs> I do wow. not know how to make a PC myself. <laughs> I know that I so can figure please. it out. I know that I could figure it out. <laughs> but a PC is not the kind of thing that I want to just figure out. Like, I want it done right. I don't want to be, like, a month later, like, why doesn't this work? I probably didn't screw it in right. You know what I mean? Like, the computer has so many pieces and moving pieces and parts and stuff that can go wrong with it. Like, I didn't want to have the, the, the uh, what is it, the reliability? Viability? No. Yeah. No, something like that. The, uh, I didn't want it to fall back on me if something was not working right. You know what I mean? I want, and then also with the company that I, uh, I bought through Main Gear, they also have, like, really good customer support. So... Like even now, I'm looking into getting a new hard Get drive to turn left. Um, with more space, like a two terabyte hard drive, and um, and they're gonna help me pick the right one that works best with my computer and my uh, motherboard and all that kind of stuff. Same thing that happened whenever I got my uh, upgrade on RAM. So I went up to 32 instead of uh, what I had. I think before I had 16. So now I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. But I almost bought the wrong one because I apparently. You know, it matters what RAM you buy, depending on your CPU and all that stuff. And I didn't know that. Another reason why I didn't build my computer. <laughs> um, and so I called them and they're like, yeah, uh, that one's not going to work with your brand of CPU or whatever. We recommend you get this one. It actually ended up being cheaper than the one I was going to get in the first place. So, yeah, anyway, so that's, that's the reason that I decided to, like, send it off to a professional to build it. Um, but we talked, we sat on the phone and we uh, talked through the stuff. Like, I was like, I want a computer to play like a hardcore game. And, you know, they're not X Plane experts, so they don't know much about that specifically. But, like, I want to be able to play a, a very intensive game and be able to stream it and play in VR at the same time. That was my bar. Like, my computer needs to be able to run smooth uh, on high settings uh, while streaming in VR, which is all things that matter you know so like i always tell people when they're trying to decide what kind of computer to get i'm like first of all what do you want to use it for are you just you just all you want to do is play x-plane with it or do you want to play other things with x-plane with it do you want to stream x-plane because if you want to stream x-plane that's another story ready to turn left. you know what i mean uh, like if you're just going to play x-plane you can get a, a cheaper computer but if you want to stream x-plane as well you might want to get something a little bit more powerful so that you can your computer can handle streaming x-plane 11 because x-plane 11 is going to take all of your freaking juice uh, so anyway, that's what I had the discussion with them, and we walked through all the parts and stuff like that, and how much they cost. Um, you know, like for example, I was I was gonna get the 1080 uh, graphics card or a 1080 Ti, and we decided 1080 Ti because Ti was better for uh, I think it was for VR, no, for 4K. Either, either VR or 4K, the TI was better at the time. That was two years ago. Um, and so we went with the TI because it was, it was better. I was using the 1080, and oh my god, we have a drunk driver of a head again. Look at this beach. So, can I go Can I go over there? Like, I almost want to drive over there. Um, oh my god. God, it's taking so long. There's no road over there. I think Graham's going to the beach. <laughs> He's definitely going to the beach. I'm kind of glad I'm in the back. I got the gram view right now. <laughs> it's a lot more interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> is it because you're driving with a keyboard? Is that the thing? Yep. It is? Really? That's Thanks. funny. Thank there's no admins around. Yeah, so Starly agrees with me. The TI is better for 4K. So yeah, that's that's what I was like. I want to be able to... Like, I don't have a 4K monitor now, but I want the option to get one. 
Um, Cause like, imagine if I would have got just the 1080, and then later on I was like, I want to get a, I want to, I want a 4K game, um, and then I wouldn't have that option. I wouldn't be able to upgrade really my monitor to 4K and actually have it work right if I didn't have a machine that could handle 4K. Um, but that was my mindset when I got my PC. I did a lot of research. I didn't just like find them and pick them. Um, I did find them, but actually yeah, a friend of mine recommended me. But um, I looked at a lot of different companies. I looked at the option of building it myself. Um, I thought about buying PC Builder Simulator to learn how to build a PC. <laughs> but I still kind of think about trying PC Building Simulator so I can like maybe learn to upgrade better. Um, and because I hate it when people ask me, what do you recommend for X-Plane? And I don't even know what to tell them. I'm like, I don't know. Ask Starly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I like that's not my expertise. I really don't know what's the best um, as far as specs. I'm like, get the best you can. <laughs> that's basically my mindset. You know what it is? Graham might be in the drive-by view. That might be the reason that he's uh, all over the place. Because whenever I'm in drive-by view, I look like a snake too. <laughs> It's okay, girl. Don't worry about it. Graham is still in training. He's our newest driver. So as long as he doesn't crash, crash, it's okay. Just get the truck a little dirty. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome to Egypt. It looks pretty Egyptian. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Are you back in? Yeah. Mr. Sun, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, my dude. Sun is setting out here in Egypt. That kind of makes me sad. That means how, that we're going to be driving at night again. What do you say? How far away are you? I am... Uh, two and a half hours away, 162 kilometers. Really? Wait, how far are you? An hour. Uh, you know, what are you carrying? A, a locomotive as well. <laughs> Why are you so much faster than me? Got a better truck. I guess so. <laughs> no. Or I'm just a better driver. Or you're in a. I bet you're in. <laughs> or you're in automatic. Are you driving automatic? Uh, am I now? Maybe. Yeah, he is. That means you're not a oh, real yeah. driver. <laughs> Go straight on. Driving automatic driving is not on. real driving. It's Even though I'm on controller. Oh, no, you're on a controller. Most okay. trucks are not automatic. You, uh, like, no, that is not true. It is. In yeah, Europe, maybe. Modern European trucks. Like, you can... It's, like, semi-automatic, so you can shift if you want. But... Mm. Yeah, but you don't need to. Yeah. Interesting. It's funny, because, like, all your cars are manual, yet your trucks are... I think there's are, a number of speed thing for automatic. Manual. What's up with that? Like, why is that backwards? Like, over here, our trucks are, auto are manual and our cars are automatic. Uh, automatic That's trucks are a lot more better than manual. Because Americans can't drive. We can't drive. <laughs> Some because our our trucks are smart. That's why. Is this a stopping one, or we gotta roll through like super friggin' slow? Roll through so thirty miles an hour. Oh, 10. Wow, I'm already at ten. That is so slow. Maybe you should change to. Uh, um, I got done. <laughs> no, I think you should change your gearbox to a six. Point. I kind of well for heavy. I think the longer the the, uh, the more gears is better, right? Yeah, only if you're going uphill. Yeah, uphill stuff, which is right in front of me, a big old uphill. <laughs> but it's, I still got a speeding it's, violation. We're past the checkpoint. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out one day. Yeah. So Andrew agrees with me. Keep right. Manual gives you better right. driving control, especially uphill. So that's why I do manual. Even though I don't, I don't drive manual in real life, which is funny, but, you know. Turn right. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I believe that I could. I just don't have a car that... This is a tight turn. I don't like this. Oh, look at that. Look at us. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, look at this bridge. Did pretty good there, I think. Go home, ETS, you're drunk. <laughs> 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 I 
The Volvo FH16 750 is a monster. That thing is powerful. Any of you guys driving Volvo? I think you guys are all driving something else. Is no. there a Volvo uh, in ETS yeah. right now? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Volvo, here we go. Volvo used to be the strongest, but then they added the new Scania, which is... The new awesome. Scania is the strongest truck in this game right now. Yeah, probably. Man, these uphills are killing me today. I can't imagine if I was doing... If I had a clutch, I would be struggling right now. This thing would be like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right, I'm at the destination now. Oh my god. I'm going up the bridge. Boom. This is a really cool little shot, though. This is beautiful. I honestly didn't know it was going to be this far. It's not far, it's just we were going slow. We were, that's yeah. true. Captain Nogirari, man, I'll see you next time, bro. Thanks for coming through. Gio, what's up, man? We need your help with these uphills. <laughs> We're struggling. Okay, we're pulling 61 tons. 61 ton locomotive. There we go. Now we're getting some speed. What is it? I have, I think, 12, 13 gears? 12 or 16? Something like that. It might be 16 because I do have a few different... I have a few reverses. I don't think I have C. Yeah, I don't have C. What does the C stand for? Don't even know. No, okay, nobody knows. I'm good on fuel though. That's positive. So is this uh, our city right here that we're driving into? Or is it farther than this? Further than that thing? <laughs> 61 tons is pretty freaking heavy. Yeah, right, that's why I'm going up these hills so slow. But somehow, IFNG over there, his automatic transmission is killing it. <laughs> nah, it's just me. <laughs> when I go downhill though, you ain't stopping this train. That's one thing. <laughs> oh boy, 90 already. Not even trying. Oh, this is bad. This tight this turn's gonna get tight on me, isn't it? Let's see. We are back. No, it's not that bad. Keep left and then turn left. That's very specific, Gio. <laughs> Turn left. Oh, yeah, I probably just blew the engine, literally. Hey, I'm not stopping. I did a stop sign. Gotta keep the momentum up. That's a nice bridge. Oh my god, this guy. Isn't that tiring, Graham? Like all that side to side? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, he says. Oh, the bear is coming. So I did go ahead and on, on my single player, I got a, a sound mod. And it sounds pretty darn good. So much better than this. Like this, I don't know, it just sounds so generic. It doesn't it doesn't sound like it doesn't really like grab you the sound that I got in the on single player does Keep right and then turn it's right still not like perfect honestly but it's, it's better it's because that truck's really old turn I don't right. think so they this one right here find it. Yep. even the like the new Scania it sounds blah it doesn't uh, sound all that much better in my opinion it's not the best, but and it's also, still like, like the same sounding. With ATS getting F mod sounds, when is ETS gonna get F mod sounds? Don't know. <laughs> Next year, <laughs> maybe. I feel like ETS is like the forgotten but popular stepchild. <laughs> it's probably because ATS is a lot more newer. Yeah. I kind of wonder, like, I mean, it's pretty obvious when you see the multiplayer numbers which one's more popular, you know what I mean? Yep. But I kind of wonder what the actual, like, numbers of people who play it online and offline for both look like and how they compare. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Who was that? I have It's me. 
It's me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Christopher, for sure. Boy, next! What's up, man? Good to see you, man. Chillin', bro. We chillin', for real. Like, I didn't even change clothes today. Usually, I change clothes before the stream. And I'm in my hoodie right now. So, I was like, nah. It's like, nah. <laughs> We're quarantined. I'm just gonna wear this. This is, like, what I usually wear around the house. My wife likes to keep it real cold in here. So, I'm always cold. You know, it's nice and warm outside. And I always got my hoodie on. Protect my head. And <laughs> my body. <laughs> And put the shades on. We're driving into the sun. There we go. Keep right, and then turn right. Oh, we're almost there. Nice. Turn right. Thought we had a ways to go. Ask me on the right. Let's see what happens with parking, because if I have to back this thing up, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. <laughs> but usually, for like the for the heavy cargoes, you usually just Bring it in straight in. Yeah, I think that's the only option. Keep left. Wait, like, nah, man. You gotta pay extra left. for that. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Hello, what's up, guys? You guys over here waiting for me? Got a dozer. Turn left. Is that where we're getting next? Dozers? Yep. Yeah, yep. boy. It's the same trailer, isn't it? <laughs> it yeah, is. This is freaking stoplight. Oh, it's over there. So it shouldn't be too hard to pull, which is heavy. How heavy is a, is a dozer? Uh, uh, 39? No, that's only half. Almost. Actually, more. A little, a little less than half. Over oh no. There's a person stuck under my um, trailer. <laughs> oh no. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Alright, we're at GNT. Turn left. Deliver our uh, locomotive to Damietta, Egypt. You have arrived at your destination. Yes, we have. Your route guidance is now finished. Thank you very much. Doug, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. Yeah, they both look like they bring them. Oh, this one goes backwards. Oh, oh, oh no, no, that's not going to work. That is not going to happen. Uh-uh, no. We, we, we'd be here for two hours if I was going to park right there. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. No, sir. It's only how much? 75 more XP. Right, I don't even need XP, bro. I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> <laughs> if I need the XP, I'd probably risk it, but I don't need the XP. XL is just something I could see. Because you played this game so legit. Yeah, man. I'm so legit. <laughs> I got so many hours in this game. I got a whole, like, five. <laughs> like, even parking this way, I'm probably gonna not get in all the way. I'm gonna have to back up. Watch. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Oh, no. yeah, there it is. Okay, I got it. Everything is awesome. Okay. Parking brake is set. Lowering the legs. Let's get rid of it. Good work. See? I'm still good. All right, so we got paid 69,000 base reward. I got a proficiency proficiency bonus. Long distance delivery bonus. I didn't know that was that far. High value cargo, urgent delivery, and we got negative uh, 14,000 and negative 74 XP for a damage penalty that was not even me. But that's okay. Current company offers. Let's see what else we got in the city. All right, this is our next job to Jerusalem. Uh, dozer. Let's go take it. Is it going to be here or is it going to be somewhere else? Continue. Is Crane still here? Who? Yeah. All right, it's in the same place. Nice. I guess we'll be contracted by GNT today. Andrew said he could do the parking with ease. I'd love to see you do it. I'm not saying that you can't. I'm just saying that I am not your average driver. I am below. It's kind of like how like you have to be a certain level of skill to be an ice road trucker. And if not, you're just stuck at being a regular trucker. That's where I am. I'm just lucky that because I'm streaming, they allow me to do this. <laughs> okay. Because hopefully I'll go. attract other drivers who are better. <laughs> All right. What up, Jan? Good to see you, man. Nick plays. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Geo. Uh, we'll be streaming ATS later or tomorrow, but flying to Poland now. Dope, dope. Cool, man. All right. Really quick, I did promise I was going to show you guys a map um, when we stopped here. 
a little uh, break between stops. Uh, somebody was asking about like Libya stuff like that. So this is this is the Middle Eastern. What would you call it? Expansion or, or expansion to the Pro Mod? Is Cyprus know. part of that, or is Cyprus already included in the other map? It's included. Mm. So Cyprus it's is already included, included in in Pro Mods by itself. But if you want the yep. Middle East, you need to download the extra Middle Eastern file to down to get Middle East, and that includes again we just we just left from Aquaba or however you say that. Which I think is in Jordan. I'm not sure what country that's in. Uh, went through like freaking five checkpoints to get through into Egypt. And now we're over here at Damietta. Um, and we'll be heading over to Jerusalem next. Uh, there's also Tel Aviv. There's uh, Jordan, I think, in here somewhere. Not Jordan. Uh, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it. But it's other stuff in here. Hi Haifa? 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 Uh, Beru? Tripoli, uh, Biblos, and then we're probably going to take a ferry to get the Tripoli through Cyprus and back on the way out. So let's get going because the sun is setting. Oh, also the other, uh, the rest of the map, yeah, some a little bit of Greece, a bunch of other maps, Poland, St. Petersburg, uh, way up here, can we go higher? Whatever this little island is, no idea what island that is, but we will go there one day because I want to see what it is. But you can kind of see also there's some of Spain. There's also not only just extra countries and places to go, but there's also extra roads in the already road trucks some other countries. So anyways, that's the map. You can see that online too. Um, search and see for yourself. Let's get going. We still got two more uh, drop-offs to do, and I don't want to waste too much time. That one took, I wouldn't say longer than I thought, but we were driving slower than I thought we would be able to. Raven, oh you're being my. kicked! Raven just got kicked! God damn it. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm gonna load up real quick. Can you guys wait for me, please? That's a big F in chat. Big F in chat. <laughs> Dang, that's the second time. It's funny because Raven is the one person who didn't crash before we started. And now, since we've started, he's been the only one who has crashed. Turn right. I didn't crash yet. I mean, not that kind of crash. Just <laughs> kicked. Kicked, my bad. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Get ready to give in the right. boot. We can put a little boot emoji in chat for Raven. Turn right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shades off, it's nighttime. And we're gonna head out. Raven's gonna catch up. Um, I'm just gonna, I mean, I don't know how fast I am now. So I'll hang out behind IFMG. <laughs> Convoy's on the move. <laughs> Pulling dozers to Jerusalem. Wait, who crashed? No way. Like no before. way. Oh. Graham, your oh, game crashed? You. Yeah. I thought you were behind me. Was it behind me? No, oh, like before. Oh, before. I'm like, you're behind me. How did you crash? I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I gotta That's stay away from Graham. Him. He can't hold his lane. Oh, my God. All right, so this uh, this time we're pulling a dozer crawler, 39 tons. This is lighter than before. Um, but what I was gonna say was one thing I always I do wrong when I'm pulling heavy is I'm so used to driving light that I go through the gears super fast. So when I get heavy, I still go through the gears fast, and I forget that I need to go through slower because <clears throat> I'm still trying to grab the gear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you want to go at uh, set speed? Uh, 80. I mean. Last time I could okay. only go as fast as the speed limit. <laughs> oh, I love this song. It hasn't got old yet. Andrew says, When I'm done, find a Volvo dealership and get the FH 16750. Alright. I don't know what that is, but I'll take a look. I only have a few trucks right now. Actually, no, I have a What's bunch. I have a bunch that I bought for like, um,. The people, like the AI drivers. I think he wants. I think he wants you to get that truck because it has tons of horsepower. Oh really? Yeah, but it really doesn't matter <laughs> because your uh, your truck probably has like six hundred. I'm not really sure. I don't know what this one is. I wish I could kind of like see it. All right, we're gonna take a risk and try to go around Graham. <laughs> I am, I am, 
I look calm, but I am scared for my life right now. <laughs> I would like to make it through this. Oh, every time I try to pass somebody, I gotta make a turn. Bad timing. Uh, let's, um, let's be serious. <laughs> and Grant missed his exit, so I guess I'm home free for a while. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what you get, Graham. Good luck backing Wait, up. He didn't take the exit. Nope. He trying to he jackknife basically. Oh, who's that? Da, 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 oh, Raven's da, da, da. back. How'd you get back so fast? Let's let's speed now. <laughs> I mean, I mean we could do like uh, depending if it, if it goes straight, we can do like uh, if we can get up to like 90 to 100 kilometers. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. If it's just open road. We're just... going onto the bridge now. Oh yeah, I need to get some uh, some speed, some momentum. Boy, so. next YT, this song is called Stockholm, and I love it. Matter of fact, every time I play it, people ask what song it is. It's super jazzy. Uh, let's see, Christopher Ramirez is saying when he gets X-Plane 11, what add-ons should he get as soon as he gets X-Plane? Right. I would say, personally, right. go for free add-ons first. Enjoy X-Plane at its default integrity for a little while. Right. <laughs> and then add on as you feel need one, to. One plugin that you definitely need is Better Pushback. Yes, I will say Better Pushback is the first uh, must-have. Um, and Zebo. Add on. And what else? And Zebo. Yeah, everybody likes the Zebo, and it's free, so go ahead and get that. <laughs> I mean, the default uh, 737 is cool to start out with, um, but once you learn how to fly that and you want some more real realism, uh, Zebo is definitely the way to go. Zebo is not that hard to fly, um, but it does have the ability to be more realistic if you want to be. The tablet makes it really easy. The tablet does make it a lot easier um, as well. And then this the immersion of the sounds, all that kind of stuff makes it more fun too. Um, but honestly, if you're brand new to X-Plane 11, you're gonna be amazed by the default 737. Like, that's the truth. Like, I don't know if you guys would agree, but I feel like if I had never played X-Plane in my life and I got X-Plane by default, right? I got the game, vanilla, whatever, and I, and I use the regular X-Plane 11, 737 and I look at it and I fly it, it's gonna look and sound pretty freaking dope and pretty amazing. Like, you're gonna be pretty happy with it, but then you discover Zebo and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like a whole other level, man. I mean, I'm wondering how the default aircraft are gonna be in the MFS. Yeah, I wonder about that too. I wonder about that too. How are the default aircraft going to be in FSS? I mean, MF, MS, S, MS, FS, FS. <laughs> Feronic, MFS. thank you for the subscription, man. Welcome to the Blue Air Royal family, my dude. Glad to have you aboard. Hope you're enjoying the content. Because I'm enjoying making it. Um, Jan Gowan, you just got a new PC and you should be able to download your truck sim soon. Yeah, man. Matter of fact, oh, is nice. it still on sale or is it is it the sale over now? Uh, yeah, I think it's still on sale. Yeah, man, if you're gonna get it, get it on sale, bro. Do not buy Euro Truck Sim full price. Like, I know you, like, I don't care how much you want it. <laughs> Do not buy Euro Truck Simulator for full price. You might buy American Truck Sim full price. Maybe. Maybe. But do not, absolutely do not. And the reason I say that is not that, not that it's not worth the full price, because it is, honestly. But the fact that it goes on sale so often. You'll be upset at yourself if you buy it today and it's not on sale, and then tomorrow it is on sale. Keep left, then turn left. Um, but I got I got Euro Truck Sim and like every add-on, <laughs> all at the same time, turn for left. a massive sale. Uh, so I got it for super dirt cheap. Like it was like undeniably cheap. I was like, I, I can't not get it. Like I was like in the boat where I was like, I'm not I'm not sure if I want it or not. I'm kind of interested. I already got American Truck Simulator. I'm from America. You know, like, there's nothing really pulling me to get Euro Truck because I'm not from Europe. I don't know anything about European trucks. Um, but when I saw how much, how cheap it was, I was like, I can't not buy this. So I ended up buying it and I didn't play it for a few months. Like, it was just in my library. All right, let's see if we can not get the speed pillar this time. All right, 10 kilometers. Let's see how slow that is. All right, we're at nine. <laughs> And like they're quick about it. It's not like the regular speed where like they'll randomly give you a ticket if you're above it. It's like, hey, as soon as you hit 11, ticket. And I think my whole trailer has to be through too. There's 10. Slow down. My 
pass yet. My speed limit says 70. Oh my god. What the heck was that? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Yep. Yeah. Some fun. Was that in my house? <laughs> was that the neighbor? I think so. <laughs> no, the neighbors be loud sometimes though, so you never know. Might have to pull over and investigate. <laughs> I mean, that didn't sound like a crashing, it sounded like a drop. I'm gonna check it really quick. I'm gonna pull over in the dirt. I want to, I want to do this anyways. <laughs> I want to go in the dirt anyways. We're gonna investigate what fell. I think our bulldozer came unhooked <laughs> or something. <laughs> Who knows? Stand by. Oh no! No! I knew I shouldn't have freaking tapped over. <laughs> Promise crash. No. no. I knew it, man. I was like, I shouldn't tab over. Because every time I tab over, for some reason, your truck sim don't like it. Alright, well, guys, enjoy this music, and I'll be right back as I reload Pro Mods. You're listening to Blue Air Radio on FM 116. So you're gonna. Really i 
Again, that song is called Stockholm by Ravel Day and Joby on FM 116. This is Blue Arrow Radio. We're back. Today's crash report is brought to you by Raven. Uh, what do you got to say, Raven? <laughs> and that was today's crash report by Raven. Thank you for sponsoring that today. Um, so I don't know where we are. Let me turn the music down. What do you say? Somebody has coronavirus. Jesus, Corona. Coronavirus. All right. Okay, here we go. I don't know where I am. Where are we? How far back did we go? We're on the roads. We're in the middle of the freaking roads. <laughs> That's all right. We're good. Let's go. All right. Yeah, no, we got to hurry up now. We're going to be late. <laughs> I need to get I need to get a clip of that and, and play it so I can I just it's so many times that I just wanna have it. Hopefully I'm going the right direction. Okay, I'm back at the bridge. Oh great. Demon size. You guys know that this is a song now. Somebody made out of it. There's multiple songs actually, somebody made out of that clip of Cardi B. The song, uh, the song I found on Spotify, like it sucks. It's horrible. <laughs> but there's another DJ. I forgot what DJ who did it. But there's a DJ, like a famous DJ, who made a, like a, a quick little mix on like Instagram or TikTok or something. And uh, it was it was pretty hilarious. Do you guys have TikTok in the Europe? You have TikTok? TikTok in, is TikTok? In? I wasn't sure. I don't know. You know, I don't know. You guys don't be having some stuff that you should be having. Y'all got Netflix too, right? Is that a yes? I mean, you know, uh, you do have stone roads in some cities. Let's be honest. <laughs> do you have Hulu? Do you, do you, but you don't have NASCAR. There we go. Speaking of racing, what do you guys think about all the virtual racing that's been going on lately? And have you really like, I know you're not like super big racing fans, but I know there's a couple of you guys at least like Formula One. No. Well, they've been having virtual races. Like they just did the virtual Melbourne or Austrian Grand Prix, Australian Grand Prix. I believe Charles Leclerc won. <laughs> Well, before, I think it's a different group, did it? I think this last one that happened, I think it was actually kind of like put on by Formula One themselves. It's the first time Formula One has actually promoted it. Because before, it was just like other eSport teams or eSport groups who had connections with famous drivers, like doing stuff like, you know, with Lando Norris and uh, the staff and people like that, you know what I mean? Uh, but now it looked like it had like, it was like an actual, because Formula One actually promoted it, which they didn't do for the others. Who the heck was in it? <laughs> oh, was that the one where they had like all the YouTubers? They had like, f like f a few different YouTubers. That guy's just gonna speed through there. All right. He's gonna get shot by a freaking drone. I am at the checkpoint again, going in 10 kilometers an hour. Trying to. So your hour again, your hour ahead of me. So I'm gonna be going basically as fast as I can go. Oh, I didn't even know. I still don't know what the heck that noise was. I went and looked. I didn't find anything that fell in the, in the apartment. So it was probably my neighbors, honestly. Like they'd be making loud noises like that randomly. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what could you possibly do? That makes it that much noise. Yeah, I understand the footsteps. That happens, right? A little bit of running around because they have kids, so like I'm like running. In, it sounds like they're just running in circles. Uh, <laughs> but oh snap! They said they can't hear you. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna tab over. Don't crash. Don't 
don't crash, 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 we're back, okay, it didn't crash, alright, mic check one more time, they said they couldn't hear you in the last, like, 10 minutes, I'm sorry, okay, it's fine, alright, dope, dope, Amazing. Martin, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. If you want to drive on the ProMod server, you need the ProMods mod. Um, the ProMod server is already in Truckers MP, whatever, but you just need ProMods to do it. That's it. Sorry about that. I, um, I had you mute it when I left, and I forgot to unmute you when I came back. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, we're on the road again. It's uh, almost midnight. <clears throat> uh, it's not really much to see anyways. It's just desert. But still, I would kind of Go want you guys off. to see the desert. <laughs> but we already actually, we took this exact same road, didn't we? On the way out here? Nah, no. No, this is a different no. one? Yeah. No, this is the same one. Oh, no, I think this no, is the same one. I definitely, I definitely took this road. Yeah, I think this is the same one. Alright, I'll put my cruise control at 90. We'll see if we get that fast. I think I'm going uphill right now. Infinite Aviation, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. I think this is going to be a thing from now on. Like, it's going to have to crash at least one time. Um, and it, you know what it is, too? Is like, I, I need I need a second monitor. I only have one monitor. So, like, if I'm streaming a full screen game like Euro Truck Simulator, like, I have to tab over to see anything else but the game. Except I have, uh, I do have my chat on top. Kool Aid Jammer! What's up, man? Good to see you. I love that name. I love Kool-Aid Jammers. Um, nice, Nathan's on the way. He's getting some money in a truck. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, but, yeah, because I tab over, and I guess it, your old truck just doesn't like that. So, I don't know where I would fit a second monitor. Either. But it would be so much helpful, helpful for not only for streaming, but for um, gaming in general, and as well as for my regular work, too, to have a second uh, screen to help me multitask, because I'm always multitasking, doing something. So it'll be so much easier if I had a second screen. Anthony plays. What's up, man? Welcome, bro. Welcome. All the way from freaking Australia in the middle of the night. The drive's pretty good so far. We've only crashed once. Oh, the game's only crashed once. We haven't crashed at all. Smooth flying. What's up? Welcome to the stream as well. Glad to have you guys. With us, we're pulling 39 tons of a dozer. You probably can't see it because it's nighttime. Oh. Through the desert of Egypt. And we're headed to Jerusalem right now, part of the Middle East DLC, inside of Promots, in the middle of nowhere, that's where we are. Miss Scalzi, what's up man? Been the goose, good to see you up to the stream. But yeah man, this is crazy. What do you guys think, What are your what is your opinion so far on the Middle East? Like, I know you, I'm pretty sure you guys have probably driven it more than I have already since like we last drove it a couple days ago. So like what do you Pretty do you good. Think? It's just small. Yeah. Compared to the rest. Yeah, for sure. Okay. It's a very small area. I mean we're gonna drive most of it just in today's stream. That kinda shows you how small it is. There's yeah. still like a good what do you think? A good two hours of driving. Like real time driving out here. Yeah. Uh one way. Get ready to turn right. <laughs> maybe, no, no, maybe two ways. Oh, so we gotta turn right? Yeah. On the brakes. But I like it. It's I like that it's free. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't pay for this. Um, no offense to the developers, they did a great job, but I would not pay for this. Um, they'd have to put a little bit more into it for me to pay for it. But as a free add-on, like it's definitely worth the download. And it's very small too, it doesn't take long at all. Like it's nowhere near like the regular pro mod download where it takes forever if you don't pay for the fast download. Um, yeah. But it's definitely yeah. when I found that it was when I found out for one that it was free, I was like heck yeah. And I found out for two that it was a fast download, I was like yeah yeah sure why not? Like I'm the kind of person I just don't like being boxed in. Like I like to have as much of an area as I can possibly drive in. Like a, as big of a sandbox as possible. The bigger the better is always what I think. So if there's an extension, like, yeah, go for it. We got three hours, 50 minutes left. On to our next uh, drive. So that means it'll be what time when we get there? I don't know. It'll 
be around uh, like 1 a.m. when we get there. There's a checkpoint ahead Go of us. Straight on. Oh shoot. Yep. Uh, is the slow one again? Yeah, it is. Who's that ahead of me? Is that Raven? Looks like Raven. Yeah, it's me. All right, going through a checkpoint again, man. So many checkpoints. We only go 10 miles an hour. Can I cruise control that? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I think it only does five. Yeah, like I learned that in the train simulator that there's like a cruise control option for whenever you're loading like the stuff, you know what I mean? Like if you're loading coal or whatever, you gotta like yeah. slowly go through those little like... Oh, don't, what are you doing? Chill, chill, chill. I think we're past it. Right, I'm going. Yeah, there we go. What's the, the bright light thing? Is it K? Yeah, it's K. Yeah, thanks. That was bright. High beams. Yeah, Andrew, I think that my next stop in Pro Mods after Middle East is probably gonna be Iceland. What is this? Oh my god, I didn't know it was a merge. I was wondering why you were stopping. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like, oh, that's cool. Like the sand like came over in the road and never blocked. No, it was a traf traffic light. There was a traffic light? Yeah. I didn't see a traffic light. <laughs> I, just, I just saw you sitting there. I was like, I guess he's waiting for me to pass it. So I just went around and I didn't realize that I was gonna, yeah. Do you have a mirror? I'm just curious. <laughs> Yeah, I saw you. Did not see me coming and you still pulled out. But I couldn't stop. Right, because you don't That's have brakes. No, I have brakes. <laughs> I just didn't want to stop. <laughs> right. You don't have brakes. So Iceland next, I think. What do you guys think? I want to go to Iceland. That's more, that's on my list of places that I want to go in Pro Mods. And then everything else is after that. Like, yeah, I'll do everything else after Iceland. Yeah, Iceland's pretty fun. I've been there probably the most. Really? So is it, is, it, yeah. is the road actually like slick or is it just ice looking? Uh, there's some roads that's like icy, muddy. It's just a mix of everything. That sounds like that sounds like my kind of drive. Speaking of that though, somebody actually went in the comment of my last video when we were driving in Finland, Sweden, Norway. Um, they were like, "Hey, are you gonna get Snowrunner when it comes out? Have you guys heard of Snowrunner?" No. Never heard of it. What is it? It's basically like uh, another game called Mud Runner. <laughs> Have you heard of oh, Mud yeah. Runner? <laughs> yeah. It's the next version of Mud Runner, but it's called Snow Runner because I guess they're adding snow. Um, but there's still gonna be <laughs> mud too. Um, anyway, so there's, there's been trailers out about it coming out at the end of the month, and I've never really been interested in even the original version of Mud Runner. Uh, it looked kind of cool. Like, cause it's like a phys another physics-based driving game where you have to drive through like different types of terrain and not yeah. get stuck. You know, it's kind of like an off-roading game. Like, for, it's like an off-roader's dream. Um, you drive up mountains, up really steep hills. There's also like 18 like truck like semi trucks in there that you have to drive on really slick roads or muddy roads, whatever. But yeah, like spin tires basically. Which is is, is spin tire and mud runner not the same game? I feel like it should be the same game. Um, anyway, so somebody brought it to my attention that it was coming out at the end of the month. I didn't know much about it. I kind of had heard a little bit about it, but I didn't really know anything about it. And I was like, huh. So I watched the trailer last night, and I was like, this looks interesting. This is like, I would like to try it. I don't know if I want to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but because I've, I've bought games that I was not able to get refunds for, because you know, there's always a thing where like, hey, if you get a game on Steam, you don't put a certain amount of hours in, you might be able to get a refund. Well, it didn't work for me <laughs> when I did it. <laughs> what game was that that I got? That I was like trying. It was some game that one of you guys wanted to play. I think it's. It's. I think it was Bus Simulator. No, it wasn't Bus Simulator. It was something Not else. Sure. I can't remember. Oh, it was Farming Simulator. That's <laughs> what it was. Um, and I actually kind of liked Farming Simulator. Don't get me wrong. I just. Yeah, it's, it's a nice game. It's it's actually a pretty cool game. Why? I don't really know. I don't know what, I, what it is about a farming simulator that's, that interests me. It might be just the fact that I have no idea about farming in general, and it teaches me what happens on farms. 
I think that's what I like about farming simulator. The fact that I'm like, hey, so how does how is corn? Like, I'm eating corn. How does this happen? You know what I mean? Yeah, um, and it, it it's really detailed and and like how everything works. How you plant, you water, whatever you know, you grow. So it's kind of cool in this in the trucks that do it and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's actually interesting to me in that way. But um, it doesn't stay interesting very long. And uh, there's a lot of waiting around for things to grow, which is real life, but faster. Speed up the time. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I did like about farming simulator, the, well, one of the main things I liked was the multiplayer and being able to like make a farm with friends. So like Nathan was one of those guys I was making a farm with, and somebody else in my um, in our group. Uh, so that was cool, but if they weren't playing, I wasn't playing. Like, I was only playing in multiplayer with them. So if they weren't around, like, I was, like... Because, like, if you have a farm together in Farming Simulator, it's like, hey, like, I am working right now. But my friend, a friend of mine is off. Can you go take care of the farm for me? You know what I mean? Like, you can go, like, in the yeah. server. Which is cool. I like that, that too. But the problem is, I don't want to take care of the farm when you're gone. I'd rather <laughs> do it when you're there. <laughs> um, so it's just tedious. And this is other things that I'd rather play. And so I, I think I put just about too many hours in it to um, to refund it. And I think that's the thing, because I feel like in order for you to really give a game a full chance, you need to put a certain amount of time in. And that amount yeah, of time... you need more than two hours in this. Yeah, you need more than two hours to really give a game a chance, unless it really sucks. Like, it, unless it's like completely not what you expected. But I'm going to be honest with you. Farming Simulator is better than I thought. Like... I am in no way, I was never in any way ever interested in playing a farming simulator game. But then I got it because a friend of mine who's very convincing got me to get it. I got it and I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. I like the graphics, I like the, the, the trucks and machines that you use, the detail that it goes into, like all that stuff is really cool. Um, it's just not my thing. And I couldn't stick with it. Uh, Lucas, I use VatSim or Pilot Edge to do multiplayer. Uh, if you're just looking to fly with people, though, uh, VatSim is a good option, or uh, IVAO, I think is another one. I'm not sure how much ATC they have. They do have an ATC option on there. I just passed Brain on the other direction. <laughs> All right, we're two hours out. Finally on the open I'm road. Ten minutes out. Ten minutes. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're, so we're 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 finally up to speed. I think we're gonna have to slow down again up here. Let's have a turn. Yep. There's not as many long straight roads as I thought. We had that one long straight de uh, desert road. Where's Bathsheba? Speed violation. Instant. Insta. Insta violation. They get you quick. Nice. Uh, boy, next, I have played Bus Simulator, I think, was that with Graham? I think that was with Graham. Yes, it was. Uh, we played for, what, one weekend? <laughs> he got me to play as well, and I regret it. Uh, I played for, like, one weekend with him, and it was fun because we played multiplayer. But anything can be fun in multiplayer, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I just wasn't as interested on my own. Uh, at first, we started out legit. We were driving around, dropping people off, picking them up. It was fun. I, and it actually worked really well with my wheel, too. Um, and then, towards the end, which pretty much happens in any game that has driving or cars or anything, uh, we ended up racing buses. <laughs> that was freaking fun. I had a lot of fun racing buses on Bus Simulator <laughs> around the streets. I felt horrible for the passengers. Like we, like we had the same route and we were racing to get the passengers to each bus station. It was pretty funny. But, um, and it's not like American Truck Sim or, or Euro Truck where you have to get speed violations. Like, they don't really care. <laughs> but I did play it. It's a, I mean, if you're interested in buses and stuff like that, I recommend it for sure. But buses are not really my thing either. It's a little too slow paced. Like, I know that this is slow paced. I know that x is slow paced. I know a lot of the games that I play are slow paced. That one was just right below my pace. And interest. <laughs> There's other games that I've played that are even more slow paced than that. My favorite airline is United. Imagine, I know right, imagine if your bus driver was having a race. I probably would honestly be pretty, like if I was in, like if it was a school bus, I'll be excited. If it was a city bus, I'd be scared. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no, for real. If it's if it's a school bus, I'll be excited yeah. because I'm like, heck yeah, we're gonna go to go fast. Like it's fun. Like usually when you're on the way to school in a school bus, you're like bored. You don't wanna go to school. It's like the opposite of exciting. And then your bus driver's like, hey, you guys wanna race to school instead? You're like, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Take the long way. We don't really have yellow school buses. All oh, right. Um, but if a city bus did it, you probably would assume that the driver has a death wish and that it's not going to end at any destination except for death. <laughs> I would just think he's really bored. Right. He says, I need to bring back the new version of OMSI 2. Get ready to turn right. Maybe OMSI 3. I assume that's a bus simulator. Yeah, I'm um, seeing. He yeah, says I'm that it's an authentic engine turn sounds right. and real buses. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually uh, better. It it's really good, it's just like it's really old. Uh, I hate, don't you hate when it happens, like when a really good version of a game comes out, but it just never like updates. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, for example, this weekend, I had this random interest in dirt bikes. Um, <laughs> I like them, I do actually like them, but uh, on TV, like motocross came on and they were doing like tricks and stuff. I was like, it's cool. <laughs> um, I was like, there's a game for that. Cause I used to play it like on PlayStation 2 or 3, one of those old PlayStations. And, um, oh yeah, there was actually a game. There was a bunch of them. <laughs> it was like PlayStation 2 or something. Yeah. yeah, there was a bunch of them. I think it was MX versus ATV or something like that. Um, but anyway, so I was looking, I was like, I wonder if there's any like really cool like motorcycle games that are out now. Um, so I don't, I'm not really in that world. So I looked into it, I found that there's a Monster Energy motocross game that came out like late last year or early this year. Um, I think I need to go down here. And uh, so I looked at that, and I was like, it looks really good. Like, the graphics looked amazing. They look really good, like, in the pictures. <laughs> um, but the thing that I was looking for was the freestyle motocross competition, not just supercross racing around in dirt hills. Like, that's, that honestly doesn't interest me at all. Like, I just want to do tricks. I want to do, I want to do big Go ramps and tricks. That is what I'm interested in when it comes to dirt bikes. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> uh, and, and then also, like, free roam off-road and stuff like that. But, like, not so much, like, on the little courses. So the motocross game that I found, the newest one, that's all it is. It's, def it's just super cross, like driving on the tracks. So it's like, well, that's boring. Um, and so I looked a little bit deeper, and the latest one that I found was MX versus ATV from like 2017 to 2018. Um, and I was like, damn, it's like two years old. And I was looking at the graphics. I was like, graphics look okay. <laughs> they don't look good. Good. They look like two. They look like three years old graphics. Um, so I was like, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm not really interested in this. I'm just curious. We're doing good on fuel, guys. 42 minutes ago, 51 kilometers ago. Yeah, Nathan, I know you used to play a lot of PC building simulator. Thief simulator. You know, I want I want you you guys who are watching right now because you're watching truck simulator. Not all of you are interested in trucks. Some of you are. Some of you are not. My question is this for you because I had an idea that I want to brainstorm with with, with the Blue Arrow family. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you guys' opinion who are watching right now, so listen closely. What do you think about me doing a series on random simulators? Where I just go and play the most random simulators and basically like a first impression on each of them, you know what I mean? Like, for example, he just Deep mentioned right. Thief Simulator. Like, then turn right. what the heck is Thief Simulator? I don't know, <laughs> but I want to try it because I want to see how funny, stupid, or crazy it is. Turn you know what right. I mean? Like, and I feel like that'd be a good video. <laughs> Um, I Tropic says yes. What do you guys think in chat with me right now? What do you guys think about that idea? Your wallet says no. My wallet says yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good idea, but a waste of money. But a lot yeah, of them are really that. cheap. That's true. Most of them, honestly, are. Like the, the, the crappy ones are really freaking cheap. Um, there's another one called Fresh Wanking so. Simulator, just came out a month ago. Keep right. Um, that, okay. I don't know what that's about, uh, but it's, it's random. Uh, <laughs> You're all like, uh. Um, uh. <laughs> Nathan says, do it. Jan says, yes. All right, I got enough eyes. I think this is happening. I mean. <laughs> this is happening, guys. Are the graphics um, good? What do you say? The gra are the graphics good? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. Like, okay, so let's, let's just point out. Let's just blurt out some random simulators that we've seen. So I've seen, um,. The, the biggest one I've seen that I think is crazy and I really want to try it because I'm a really weird person. And that is, uh, what's it called? Murder Investigation Simulator. 
Okay, that's. Have you seen that on Steam? Uh, Look it up. No. Look it up. It's, it exists. I don't think it's out yet, but it's coming. <laughs> Sounds really boring. Sounds boring. No, no, it's not. No, it's like. No, I'm sorry. My bad. It's crime scene investigator simulator. Still sounds boring. <laughs> Which means blood everywhere. Everywhere. Boat simulator. That sounds fun. Jerusalem discovered. But there's so many. The Holy Land. There's so many um, simulators out there. Like I, 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 I mean, we, we spend most of our time on, on flight simulators and sometimes truck simulators, bus simulators, farming simulators. You know what I mean? But like some of the ones that are out there are actually good. Like I kind of want to try cooking no simulator. Talk. No oh, joke. Yeah, I, that's actually uh, decent. I heard yeah. good things about the cooking simulator. I want to try that one. Jesus simulator. There's no way that's a real thing. It's no way. <laughs> it's a Jesus yeah. simulator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. If that is real, I'm going to hell. Um, but yeah. So it is. Here we are. I'm making a list, and you guys can send me suggestions too. Um, I'm not saying this is gonna happen like tomorrow. Um, it'll probably be pre-recorded videos. Most likely, it will not be streams. Um, but I do want to try it. Um, so I kind of, I'm not trying to branch out and find a new game, but I do want to try out some, some more simulators. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the same type of parking we had in the first one with the same exact type of trailer. Did you guys park back there? Or are you picking up? You're picking up. All right, I'm parking on the side. Put it on the side. They can move it and put it wherever they want to put it. We'll do hard parking on the last parking. I, I want to make sure I don't spend too much time just parking today. Oh god, we're gonna kill Graham. Graham, though, I'm so I'm proud of you, bro. I want I want you to know I am very proud of that you made it. Our rookie uh, driver out here driving with the keyboard. I am proud that you made it all the way here from Egypt, and you didn't die out there to all the snakes. Uh, my truck is very damaged. But... Oh, your truck is damaged. You probably should get that fixed. I'll do it later. I don't know. <laughs> You should have money by now. We've, de we've delivered two jobs. I'm still on my loan repayment. Oh, you're on your bank loan. Dang, bro, you're in debt. Yeah. No, I've only got 175. You need to pay that off. I mean, if, they, if the game let me, I would loan you all all one billion of my dollars that I have right now. I have a very successful trucking company. All right. Whew, we made it, guys. Welcome to, where are we? Jerusalem. So everybody say a prayer. <laughs> For um, you know all the coronavirus people out there. No, it actually it actually makes a lot of sense that we're in Jerusalem because Easter is this weekend. <laughs> so yeah. In case you guys didn't know that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Next job, we have one more. This one shouldn't. I say it shouldn't be. It's probably gonna be equally as long as the first two. And we're picking up cars and we're headed to Tripoli in Lebanon, and we are gonna have to take a ferry through Cyprus. It's like two ferries, so uh, and I think you guys were explaining to me the other day that whatever country this is, there's, there's no way for you to drive into the northern country because there's like a, a conflict between two countries, right? So you have yep. to take a ferry through friendly Cyprus and then take a ferry back to the other, other side so they're driving. They just make it very inconvenient for you to get there. Um, I mean, you would think that they would just block it off completely. I don't know. All right, let's pick up our last job. Um, this is, we're actually doing pretty good, man. Our, all of our trucking streams so far, we've only been able to fit two, two, uh, two, three, two jobs in. So this time we're gonna be able to get three, which is good. I think it helps that I'm not doing the hard parking every time because we would probably be just getting here. Or, or <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Rip IFMG. Whose is that one? Is that IFNGs? Yeah. No, please, no, come on, no. It's not damaging mine, so it must be yours. <laughs> Where is it? It's in the back. Oh, it's I'm parking. picking up Honda Civics. I I was flying. They probably don't even drive Honda Civics over here. Probably Toyota. To picking up Toyotas. Road. Trailer full of Toyotas. So there's a very big conflict between Israel and Lebanon. I knew somebody in chat would understand what the heck that was about, because I don't. Fat dude simulator, toilet simulator. Oh my god, this is gonna get out of hand really quick. I know it. It's happening though, guys. I'm gonna make a list. Send it to my Discord if you can. Send it to the uh, suggestions in, in my Discord or the feedback section so I can actually see them later. If you put it in chat here, I'm never gonna see that again. Alright, uh, you guys uh, just picking up now and you ready to go? I'll wait for you. Yep. 
So this is probably our lightest job so far. Only nine tons. Turn right. So it basically gets easier as we go. go there's no, there's on. no Jesus simulator, but there's a priest simulator, guys. Just thought you should know. That's um. Just thought you should know. Oh, don't tap, don't tap, don't tap, don't tap, don't tap. I just tabbed. Okay, we're good. We're good. Thank you, it's the Zalt. I don't know how to say your name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family in. So last last trip of the day, guys. What up, Kool-Aid Jammer? Your favorite airline is United. You love them. Family members work for United. That's dope. You have a friend of mine who works for United, and um, I'm on his benefits, so I can't not like him. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, there's that. Just call you It's the Alright, what do you do, man? Exit. Can you uh, stop somewhere? I need to get fuel. You need, you need fuel? Alright, gotcha. There's a lot of yeah. fuel, actually. I'll just follow while you are going over there. Okay, I'm just gonna do circles until you finish getting your fuel. Exit now. Do my regular oval racing. Alright, Graham, let's go. Why are you stopping? Don't stop, man. This is not a collision zone. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at this group of five women just walking <laughs> like they're freaking everything in the middle of the night. Where are they going to the club? Oh god, okay, we racing? Alright, let's go, Graham. Let's go. Alright, it's got real unlegit. We're taking a quick, unlegit break. Oh, this is gonna get bad. One of us is gonna flip over. Why are you faster than me, though? This is the best Probably you've driven all day, Graham. <laughs> Maybe you should stick just turning left. Should be oval racer. Come, come to iRacing. Come to iRacing oval drive racing. With my keyboard. <laughs> he is literally beating me right now. Like, you know what it is though? He's on the inside lane. It's shorter around. I, and I need to switch gears. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Oh baby. Oh for the lead. Oh, oh man, we really. That was what it was. I was, I was high revving in seventh gear. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I switched to 8th, look at I'm going 39 kilometers in a circle. Oh, I just hit the curb. Alright, I'm getting dizzy. I'm gonna break off here in the next lap. <laughs> uh, I'm getting really dizzy. Oh, I'm dizzy. Okay. There we go. I'm out of here. Gotta get Never out mind. of the circle. I'll find a new one. I'll keep on going. Keep on going. We'll get, right. what, uh, what level are you at? Uh, uh, it's right. Alt. What did you say to call you again? <laughs> it's Dalt. It's Deeks. Is it light green? I think it's green. Okay, I'm ready. All right, cool. I'm ready too. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna not get any gas. I'm gonna try to make it the whole way without getting gas. I think we'll be all right. All right, all right guys, let's head to uh, Tripoli. Fast Lebanon, and the last stop. Where's that? Turn right. I still don't have my cargo. What happened? I thought you had your cargo. At the roundabout. Apparently, I have my cargo at the fuel station, but okay. there's no way to pick it. All right, we'll wait for you outside the circle. I should get a, a garage out here. It's these has seven petillion dollars in this game. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Chipotle simulator. That's not real. There's no way that's real. <laughs> so yeah, so this, on that subject, because I, I've started something now. <laughs> um, I did one day, probably like a few months ago, probably like last year, a few months ago. Uh, I was looking on Steam, and you, do you ever like, find yourself just like searching just what's available on Steam? Because there's some crazy stuff available. Like some of the stuff, like really, Steam, you allow people to put this on your service. Um, but it's like I feel like there's no uh, parking brake. There it is. There's no filter for what you can put on on Steam. Like, is anybody? All right, I don't know how it works. If you gotta pay Steam money to get on there or what, but it seems like it's just whatever. And so, but yeah, so I found uh, the ones that I mentioned earlier. I found the, the crime scene investigator simulator, which looked crazy. I found it looked gory. It was so crazy. You could uh, play you there. There's a grandma simulator. Uh, let me look. I think I have Discord open right now. Ah, uh, no it's not. You suck Discord. Now you're connecting? You were working earlier. Alright, well I can't see the list right now. Can one, uh, can either of you guys see the list of that Trifix posted on Discord? 
I'll have a look. Yeah, take a look for me and, and read it for me because I can't see it. Free simulator, toilet simulator, rock simulator, fat dude simulator, <laughs> fat prison simulator, <laughs> IKEA building simulator, <laughs> alcoholic simulator, tea party simulator, airport firefighter simulator, airport what? Robot vacuum simulator. Robot fat sim simulator? <laughs> no, vacuum. Robot vacuum simulator, okay. Advanced lawnmower simulator. Sinking simulator, dinner date simulator, PC building simulator. Okay, that's it for me. Okay. All right. Oh, I thought Raven. I thought you had a job. Uh, I'm not gonna pick up one. All right then. Well, let's get out of here. This job is very short. It's shorter. We'll see. It is pretty short. It's though. super short. <laughs> so 17 but hours, but we're taking ferries. That's so gonna get really short. I'm pretty sure the only. Um, trucking we're actually gonna do is to the this part to the ferry to the ferry <laughs> yep airport simulator is an airport simulator that sounds fun yep that actually sounds fun some of the simulators i'm gonna try are not gonna be all ridiculous like i want to try some like legit pass like the simulators that might actually be dope like cooking simulator i still want to try that all right all right graham what's your line buddy um, so I want to try Cookie Simulator because I've seen it and it looks interesting and I wonder if it's going to make me a better cook. Right? <laughs> like, is it going to make me a better cook? Because I'm trying to cook more in real life and I'm like, huh, I wonder if it can give me some more recipes to cook for my wife and surprise her with something amazing from Cooking Simulator. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Cat Simulator? That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this series, guys. I don't know how People often... Left. I'll be able to post a video of these things. Uh, it might be a monthly thing, it might be a, a weekend thing where I like post one uh, every weekend or every other weekend, something like that. Um, we'll see, I gotta get started first. Uh, where, what should I start? What do you guys think? What, what simulator should I do first? Not sure. Uh, cooking simulator. Yeah, I think I should do cooking simulator first. I wonder if it's on <laughs> sale. I wonder. Keep left. There's also some uh, pretty dope simulator games in VR like a game called Onward. I know I've mentioned it before, but I really haven't been able, I really haven't spent much time in that game and I want to, I need to re-download it. I need to first get a bigger hard drive so I can fit games. Look at this little cool little roundabout thingy. Or off ramp. A real surgeon simulator, that sounds fun too. I wouldn't mind tearing open somebody's body and doing things. Yeah, apparently that's VR. Like well, It's VR? Oh, it's over. You sold me when you said that. That's all. That's all I had to say. It's VR. That's a wrap. Who's getting it? That's kind of like you know how it is. Like for example, Raven. You just got a new steering wheel, right? Yeah. So like, if I if I were to recommend you a game that had driving in general, you would be more likely to be interested in that game because your steering wheel works with it, right? Probably yeah. I mean, just 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 discount the fact that stuff costs money right now. All right. So like, if you <laughs> if it didn't if money was not an option, and I recommended you, I don't know some some random game that has driving in it. Like, you may or may not be interested in that game, but your interest will peak a little bit higher because you have a wheel, and it works for a wheel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, force feedback wheel to be at that. Yeah. Like I was the same way when I first got my wheel. I was like, hey, does it have wheel support? Like I wanted to buy every racing game ever. <laughs> when I got my wheel at first. I was like, I want iRacing, I want a set of Corsa, I want NASCAR, I want Formula One. Like if it has a wheel in it, I want it because I have a wheel now. You know what I mean? Like it's like you spent all this money yeah. on this wheel and you're like, I want to enjoy the wheel and like use it to this best of its ability. And also I want to see how all these different games Those handle games. the wheel. So for example, right now, I love the way that iRacing feels with the wheel. But I also like the way a set of Corsa feels with the weird wheel. They feel different. Uh, even if I, if I race GT series in each of them, they feel different even if it's just, even on the same car his this dude's gonna crash we need a cop out here to arrest him and send him in for dui <laughs> uh ghost custom what do you mean by change truck limits to car limits on the gameplay settings what does that mean guys any idea I'm not sure. Probably go you mean you go like faster or do they mean like uh the speed limit is faster uh oh yeah is that what it is Mm-hmm. Or you can turn speeding signs We're doing a horrible job. I'm like switching lanes. They ain't putting the blinkers. 
<laughs> Nothing. This last drive is gonna be very unlegit. Everything. I feel like we've done a pretty good job today. I haven't crashed. Haven't really gone off road. Anything. Traffic lights. I got the midnight club music playing in the background. It's nice. And the speed cam. And the speed cam. So we're hauling cars, we can finally actually see the cars, because we've been driving at night. See, this is my problem with Truckers MP, man. <laughs> we started out good, it was nice sunset, and now the majority of our drive has been at night. And this happens every time I play Truckers MP. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that honestly it would be morning by now, but I was... There's a KFC. I was wrong. Where's KFC? <gasps> KFC. I love KFC. <laughs> Is there a drive-thru? Or no, there's not a drive-thru. <laughs> oh, man, KFC sounds good right now, too. So my wife started last night doing a water fast, and that means that she can't eat anything. She can just drink water. Um, and I was talking to her, and I was like, I wonder if I should try it, too. Um, but I don't think that I would make it. Ain't that kind of bad for you, though? Bad? I mean, it's only for... It's only gonna be until, I think, Sunday. Uh, so she started... Uh, uh, the rest of... Some other people were doing it with... Or might be doing it with are starting tomorrow. I'm still thinking about whether I want to do it or not. So basically, I can't eat anything. Just drink water. For like three days. Um, but just Sound, this morning... Quite unhealthy. It's not... It's actually not. I mean, you shouldn't do it like forever. But if you just do like a, a small little few days or a week or whatever, um, it actually does help you be, uh, you know, lose weight and stuff like that. Where are you going, Graham? All right, guys, to the ferry. So we're in Haifa. 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 Yeah, I remember this is this is where we this is where we entered the country before. All right, so we can swing this baby in here without hitting any cones. <laughs> I don't think we hit anything. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm okay. I was, uh, where are we, uh, what, where are we taking the ferry to? The only place that there is. <laughs> well, if we were on single player, the darkness might go when we get on the ferry, because it's a nine hour ferry, so technically it should be morning when we get there. But because we're on multiplayer, the time doesn't change uh, when fine. you go to sleep or you do something that requires a lot of time. So, yeah, there's that. Yep, so it's still dark. Freaking insta traveled. Alright, so now we're going uh, on another ferry? Yeah, Turn right. We're going on another ferry. So we just go to the other side. In Larnaca, Cyprus, right now. Is, isn't is Cyprus the one where the streets are backwards? Get so it's like left side? Right. Yep. Yeah, so Turn we right. don't really have to do it too much now because it's just a big right turn, but. Once you get into Cyprus, the roads are inverted, and you have to drive on the left side of the road. Super confusing. I'm like, okay, Cyprus, just you, huh? The question is, which side is right? I think the right side is right because it's called right. <laughs> hmm. Technically, it's actually left. Historically, it's left. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. That's what I meant. Are we going straight to Tripoli or are we going through Beirut and drive to Tripoli? No, no it's Tripoli. I'm gonna go to Beirut. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather drive it over there. Can, can I drive? Yeah, it's already in Lebanon, so I'm gonna yeah. drive it. I mean, that makes our, our drive a little bit longer. I'd rather drive it and enjoy the drive than drive, take the ferry straight to Tripoli. Can I stream GTA? <laughs> That's technically a simulator. No, I'm just kidding, it's not a simulator. <laughs> No. No. It's real life simulator. Well, there's a, there's a, what's it called? Um, oh, that's PDFR. Yeah, there's that. There's a, what's Transport it called? What the heck something. is that thing called? Transport um, tag. No, the mod for GTA for all the roleplay. It's like uh, 5M. Yeah. 5M, yeah, so I have 5M. Yeah. I have actually, I think I have GTA installed. No, I uninstalled it. I do have 5M though, and I have GTA. I, I own GTA on Steam, so that's an option. But I don't. I don't really see myself doing that. I just GTA. There's so many people playing. 
<laughs> it's like you don't need one more streamer playing GTA. I might like I don't know jump in eventually, but right now I'm I'm too tight on computer space to just put in GTA when I'm only gonna not spend much time on it. Technically, if I buy these simulators that we talked about and only play less than two minute, two hours, I can get a refund, right? Yep. I still think GTA is the best game ever created, in my opinion. Best game ever. It's pretty good for how old it is. Yeah, man. I mean, like, that game was... It's still relevant in 2020. No! Make it, make it, make it! Yes! I beat old. the light. I beat the light. But yeah, I think it's crazy that even now it's still relevant. They're still coming out with more, like, add-ons, like, free stuff. I mean, you still gotta buy crap in-game, which is a grind. Too expensive. <laughs> Everything is super expensive. It's crazy. Like, the yaw. If you bought a shark card for the yaw, that would be how much? $100? Yeah, if you want to buy a $80. yaw in the game with in-game money, but you want to use real money to buy the in-game money to get the yacht, it's about, like, 70 to $80 just for the basic yacht <laughs> so what i did yep. uh I, I started playing gta again i have it on my ps4 which is on my the profile that i actually play on i don't really play it on pc not, not online um but i have had that i have had that profile since gta came out whatever year that was it was a super long time ago and i have a bunch of houses a bunch of cars a bunch of businesses and um, and so what I did, I found out a way to make a bunch of money. Fat? Oh, is, oh, yeah, I guess you can say faster. It's technically faster. You can make more money faster. Uh, it still takes a lot of time though. So what I did was I found a way to cause, like certain businesses make money while you're in game. Um, like the the nightclub can um, produce things and you can sell that eventually. But it takes a ton of time. Okay, chill out, Graham. All right. <laughs> I don't need any more excitement in my life right now. Daddy Simulator? What the heck? <laughs> Adam McLean. Well, this is going to be ridiculous. Oh, wow. I can't believe I dodged that. Is this a checkpoint? Yeah, it is. 15 miles in it. 15 kilometers. Um, anyway, so I found a way to, to make money. And you just, I basically leave my PlayStation on uh, while I'm watching TV in-game. And it won't, like, it won't kick me out of the server. So that way the game stays on. I keep producing things that make money. And uh, so from doing that, I got like a couple, a few million, like a few million dollars just from doing that for a month. <laughs> uh, and then after I got the money, I was like, all right, what do I do with it? So I bought a yacht, finally got me a yacht. I finally got me the hotel, uh, um, nice little hotel place. And this is not using shark cards. This is just using in-game money. And um, I also got the Avenger helicopter. That was the last thing I bought before I stopped playing. So I was like, well, I want to use it, but now I don't have anybody to fly with. It's like a multi-person. <laughs> it's a multi-person helicopter. It's like, if you only have one person, all you can do is transport yourself. If you have another person, they can shoot rockets at everybody, which is the whole point of it. And so the friend of mine who was using it, he stopped playing it, so I, I stopped playing. Man, yeah, we're almost there. Even going from Beirut, we're almost there, so I can't imagine how quick this would have been going through Tripoli. Yen Gowan, no, I do not swear. I just choose not to. It's not my vocabulary. I know, bro. That's, I'm telling you, that's Formula One that trained me for that situation, Starly. My reaction time was on point just now. Go ahead and get around Graham. That's what's important, guys. Reaction time. <laughs> I like the Formula One had Fine. on their, uh, we're here. here. They had on their Instagram story one time, a reaction time test. I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't even know if you guys followed them, but oh, yeah, um, basically it has like these like lights that go and then when the lights turn green, you have to like quickly like take a screenshot or something like that. And my reaction time was very consistent. Okay, all right, we're gonna do the hard one this time. I don't know how I'm gonna get in there, but we'll figure it out. I think I did go right first. And uh, mine was actually pretty decent. It wasn't like slow. It wasn't like the best, but it was fast. <laughs> but I guess I'm used to it because I'm used to like playing racing games where you gotta wait for the lights to go out and you just go. So it's kind of like I practice my reaction time as well as when I play racing games. Like it's really good to have a good reaction time because when the car kicks loose out of no freaking where, how are you gonna control it? 
All right, mirrors up, guys. It's time to, to uh, park. And hopefully I'll do okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so it's going to be around the corner. And I'm going to try to do it all from the inside view, because what I do, baby. So I'm thinking cooking simulator should be next, guys. I might have to pick it up today. <laughs> Start practicing. Go away. Alright. It'll be something that'll hold us until Microsoft Flight Simulator comes out. <laughs> I'm just doing laps around this. I Go see. Back. Speaking <laughs> of laps, Raven, you need to turn some laps on iRacing, buddy. How's that been going? I tried a race yesterday and got like 10 points. Like good points or bad points? Bad safety points, whatever they're so called. So you lost in points. Yep. Well, that sucks. The main reason was because people kept crashing into me. Well, yeah, that happens. Boom. The man. only way, I, the only way I actually got points was through people hitting behind me. They're just anxious to be first. Yeah, man, that's that's how it is. That's that's the struggle with iRacing rookie. Is handling that. It gets old. It gets really annoying. Um, we just gotta drive through it and. Hope for the best. Uh, one uh, tip I'll give you for eye racing, like, and this is the same for uh, road and for oval, is try doing time trial. Oh shoot! What am I doing? That's not the right record. Wait, <laughs> you guys are making this so hard for me right now. <laughs> it's really not that difficult of a turn, <laughs> but I have trucks driving through me. Did did time trials you make your um, safety? Point yes, time right? trials are official. Anything that's official counts for or against your safety rating on iRacing. So if you do a time trial, which nobody else is on the track, it's just you. And I recommend do like the time trial is only like 20 or 30 minutes long. And it doesn't matter how fast you actually go. I want you to know that right now. You know, it, like if you do quick uh, laps, it doesn't actually matter. All you gotta do is turn laps and not hit anything and you'll get the crash. best amount. Yeah. So that's what I did when I was a rookie. I did a few, uh, wow, why are you, okay, there we go. I did a few, um, not a few, I did a bunch of regular races too, but what really helps um, to kind of get good momentum and get good safety rating in as well, it also helps with your own skill too because you're actually practicing. Oh man, we're a little, little too <laughs> sharp there. Oh man, that's not going to go well for me. No, nope, I'm trying to make your life as difficult you as possible. You are making it as difficult as possible. <laughs> we're doing a very good job at that right now. I'm going up on this curb. Oh, and then the fence. But yeah, do time trials, bro. Like, take my advice whenever you, you know, you're gonna do it now, but you know, whenever you're in their IRAC mood, like, do time trials, whether it's road or oval. And not only will it make you a better driver, because it's basically you practicing, but it's also official. And as long as you don't hit the wall, don't, get, don't even get a zero X. Try to get a perfect drive um, throughout the whole time, and you'll get the max amount of safety rating within that time limit. Am I on the- there's- what is- what are these crates doing here? Who put those there? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking wipers going off! <laughs> this is why! Oh my god, the wipers are on! Who is this guy? Blue's losing it. <laughs> I'm losing it right now. I'll turn the music off. I'm just kidding. Can I go ghost mode or something? Okay, for real. <laughs> these are not supposed to be on. I'm gonna hit it again. Yep. <sighs> Alright, I need to go straight back. A little bit. And turn. It's like freaking parallel parking in here. Which I'm not good at it either. <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna hit that wall. You go. I... Yeah, alright, going back forward. This is bad, this is so bad. I'm so fired, I guess I need to go find a new job in, in the restaurant somewhere. <laughs> so what should my restaurant be named for a cooking simulator? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> just, that is funny, just thinking of the fact that I'm gonna try a cooking simulator. It's just, it's just funny to me. 
I can just see myself <laughs> burning the kitchen down right now. <laughs> Turn! Wait, not that way. That's why. I'm turning the wrong direction. G Man Deuce says rip. <laughs> yep. Rip is right. I promise I'm not this bad of a driver. I promise. See, if we had done this three times today, we would be just picking up our second. Blue Food Group. That's not a bad. That's not a bad name, actually. Should we be organic, or should we should we be the opposite of organic? <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> be a vegan restaurant? I'm like heck no. How about everything has butter in it? Because we're pilots. <laughs> Pilots love butter, apparently. <laughs> You're about to say pirate. We're getting close. We're getting close, people. We're getting very close. Blue cheese, peanut butter. If we do, if we do that, we're we're, we're, le we're legit gonna be cooking for the airline, for Blue Arrow Airline. Like that's gonna be our our legit catering company. I'm gonna look it up. How much is it? Hopefully it's not expensive. Is it on sale? I hope it's on sale. Hope it's on stay at home and cook sale. <laughs> that would be amazing. I'm gonna have to wait for it to go on sale. So I don't see myself spending like months playing it. Like I might put a few hours in it, but oh, is it turning? I can't see. Like I, li I legit cannot see where that trailer is going. Ah, oh, we're so freaking close. <laughs> Three years later. I'm sorry, you got the watch. You can, you can go. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, you have three choices. <laughs> we might be here for a while. You can either stay. <laughs> you can give up <laughs> and leave, <laughs> or watch me give it all I got. Until next time, have a great day. Peace, love, and God bless you. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the white box. Yeah, I just my issue right now. Is I just cannot see where anything is. Oh, this is bad. Why then you should go on the outside. I don't want to go on the Extra, outside because I won't feel as accomplished. <laughs> I moved my chat around. My chat was like on top of the window of it too. Yeah, that's true. Like if I look and see, I can kind of see. I still can't see great. If I look out, out. That's a little bit better. Like we're like pretty much almost square. If I just gotta go straight back, like that's it. I just need to go straightish <laughs> back. Right. So left a little bit. Ah, oh, so this is my eye. All right, not that much. Other way, I'm getting out of the box now. <laughs> All right, this is straight. Okay, this is when it gets hard. When it gets dark, see now they're really trying to make it hard. This is like hard. This is hardcore mode. All right, uh, this way. Nope, wrong way. Other way. Not too much though. I just need you to turn green. We're like in there. We're in there, people. Oh, it's green! Mark it! Whew! Oh my god, why was that so Why is this so hard? This shouldn't be this hard. Like, it really shouldn't. I don't remember when I used to play this being this hard. We still got excellent, though. I mean, freaking rank six. I mean, I'm a freaking kajillionaire. We're a divine champion somehow, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> we delivered everything we wanted to deliver today. Wow, and we did really good on time. Was it? Yeah, really good on time too so whew, i am stressed out why am i this is supposed to be relaxing <laughs> so i'll see you guys next time on cooking simulator i'm just kidding that's probably not gonna happen next time we'll be uh streaming x plane again tomorrow on a pilot edge i'm deciding if i'm gonna fly either the challenger 300 or the falcon 50. i have not yet decided probably the falcon 50 honestly we'll probably do challenger later 
gonna park next to you just so you know. Who's this other guy? Guitar? Guitarzan? That's a cool name. Alright, this Should is like. Should the TV on. TV. Oh, we, we did that recently. Really? Uh, not recent, but like not long ago. Like, I can remember flying TBM, <laughs> so it wasn't that long ago. Are you guys all on the curb? I am. <laughs> as far back as I can go. <laughs> okay. Alright, out of reverse. Parking brake is set. Engine's going off. Ah, we need to go home. <laughs> oh god. Well, we successfully did the delivery. Wasn't great. Can you link the video game as one fly truck and fishing game? I wouldn't mind trying a fishing game either. I wouldn't mind trying that. Um, that would be really slow paced. We'll see. I know Red Dead Redemption has fishing, and that's fun. <laughs> but, well, guys, uh, yeah, so tomorrow we'll be back. Same time, most likely. Uh, we should be on Pilot Edge as long as you know work doesn't conflict, anything like that. Uh, thank you guys for your input on the whole simulation idea. We'll see where I go with that. Again, send me your suggestions for that or anything else to my Discord channel. If you'd like to drive with us at some, some point, you can go ahead and let us know. Uh, I know that Graham, IFMG, and Raven are always driving on uh, on Discord. So if you guys want to join them, if, they're, if they allow you to, <laughs> try that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, yeah, I appreciate you guys for coming through. Thank you, uh, Graham, Raven, IFMG, for driving with me and showing me around. Because I'm still basically a noob at this. I feel like I'm a little less noob than Gra uh, Graham, but he seems to be doing better than me. So <laughs> maybe, I, he, maybe he's taking my place. I don't know. But it was fun. I look forward to Cooking Simulator and uh, all those other random things that we're going to be doing in the future. Um, until next time, guys. Maybe you have three choices. My horn doesn't work because my engine's off. Hold on. Special thanks to Mercedes for sponsoring this truck. I'm just kidding. Today's Crash Report is brought to you by Raven. And uh, until next time, maybe you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time. Tapping. <laughs> the next video I am out. <laughs>